Um, I'm David Harrison. I'm with the Nature Conservancy, TNC. Uh, we're an environmental NGO uh, working on primarily biodiversity, ecosystem, species. And because of that, and because of the extreme pressure on freshwater ecosystems and species around the world today, we've really focused in on some of the major causes of, uh, of stress on these ecosystems. And unavoidably, one of those is dams. And the major driver of dams today around the world is hydropower. Uh, hydropower because there's a great need for uh, relatively clean, low carbon energy. We respect that. But also, we just need to acknowledge as a global community that dams and other sources of threat in the freshwater ecosystem are creating their own environmental crisis that need to be addressed contemporaneously in parallel with the energy crisis. So we've decided to work on, on dams, on hydropower in a fairly intensive way. Um, one thing, you know, we're very interested in sustainability of hydropower. I think this is the key. It's not that we could say we don't like dams and maybe somehow or another if you oppose them they could go away. The reality is the dams are going to happen. We acknowledge that and actually we invite it. We invite the opportunity to work in partnership. I should put it the other way around. We're really happy to have the opportunity to work in partnership with industry. Uh, that's why I'm here at the uh, IHA World Congress. Uh, this is actually the third World Congress I've been at personally as part of this agenda. We were in Turkey, we were in Iceland, and now here in, in Brazil, one of my favorite countries. Um, you know, it's possible to take on an individual project that just seems to be bad. It's possible to try to oppose a project, to try to oppose development. But to be really thoughtful and kind of self-critical about where you end up with that, even if, you were, even if one were successful in defeating a project, delaying it, maybe even defeating it, guess what? Ten, hundred more projects pop up elsewhere. It doesn't get to the bottom of it. It doesn't get to the root need for electricity, for development by, uh, by different countries, by communities, and it doesn't put an emphasis on really good planning. So these are the reasons that we're interested in it. Uh, I have personally been involved on the Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Forum, the HSAF we call it, over the last three years, and it's been a great opportunity for me to uh, meet people, work with people, not only in the industry, but also the finance side, the private banks, the, the World Bank, and really, frankly, to open up my eyes a lot about what's going on in the, in the details of this business. It, it re-emphasizes for me the, uh, the opportunity that we have as a global society to, to get it more nearly right than we've gotten it before now in the developed world. There's a possibility of hydropower being sustainable. I've, I'm starting to get that. And sustainable hydropower, well-planned, well-implemented, represents a benefit for society, not a detriment. But I must tell you that sustainability is very elusive. And the fragmentary, opportunistic development of project by project that happens today is gradually eating up and more and more rapidly eating up our freshwater ecosystem resources. And I'm committed to trying to do something about that. The future of sustainable hydropower and frankly the future of sustainability in terms of uh, of, of development, uh, sustainable development uh, overall, all kinds of infrastructure, has to do with this business of planning, has to do with integrating the, uh, the development of hydropower and electrical services with environmental protection, with social and uh, cultural protection. And it, this is what's needed in the future. What's going to happen, I don't know. I want to identify the challenge. I think the challenge is simply the fragmentation that exists throughout the, throughout the economic development arena. 
uh, national fragmentations, uh, interests, you know, sovereign interests sometimes get in the way of countries' best interests, frankly. Um, project by project planning doesn't really get you there. So the future um, is really, it's a big, a big fork in the road. I don't know how it's going to go. Either we get regions to seriously work together, um, um, or we're going to see simply the continued eating up of both, op power, of both electrical development opportunities, hydropower development opportunities, and ecosystem protection and human social cultural protection just gradually getting eaten up at an ever increasing rate. That's one scenario. The other scenario is somehow we find ways to come up with regional cooperation that allow integrated plans to happen, that allow the best hydropower to be developed and the best protection and, uh, and uh, sharing of benefits to take place. And I can't tell you what the future is. I think we're at a serious fork in the road.